this. Wow. Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl. Up there. It's either his kid or the ghost of his of a kid. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. Eddie. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Is busy, that? busy, busy. You've been out in a bad old day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a hall, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, 
and cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh. I know. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me uh, now? Rick? No. Revenge? Because good job. Oh, great. She has asthma attacks? That's gonna be... You sure you're okay? Great, but we're running from something later. Yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> <sighs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. <laughs> and I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Uh, uh. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Oh, oh God. Um... <sighs> Sorry. What? No, it, it's fine. I thought you... Uh, I'm an idiot. This whole situation I mean, is just I thought I cringy. Was being a little flirty, but I can't just... believe I just did that. Oh, boy. I hope this doesn't come back and bite me later. 
like, oh, you didn't kiss me. No, I'm not going to help, like, save your life or, or something like that. Who is that? Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, in interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Talk more later? Um, yeah, sure. If we have time after shooting, maybe. Good luck finding your rooms. Um, the heck? Where the hell are they going? No, they just trapped us on this. Oh my gosh. You're just casual about that? They're literally running away. Oh my gosh, man. What the heck? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. A little bit. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumas. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid. The studio rent out the wrong account and the check uh -oh. bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. 
or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. This dude needs to chill with the cigarettes. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? You're just kind of weird in general. I'm not gonna lie. My man is capital S stressed. He's not just stressed. He's capital S stressed. All right, let's go find the cigarette bar place. This man's a fiend for some ciggies. Some ciggies. All right. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. No. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure. He doesn't seem but like the fine. guy who'd do Erin, that. please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Cool, just found a random business card in the corner. That's cool. Oh, is this a coin? Yes, it is. You've got to be worth something. Nice. Got eleven. any of these pictures give us like a little you know glimpse into the future Mr. Morello good evening thank you for allowing me to contact you directly your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me it seems we have a mutual interest I spent several years constructing the ultimate homes tourist experience by faithfully Recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We have not yet fin not yet opened to the public as our finishing touches to complete, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. Experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation must be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. Hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests you will like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up and your guests pick you and your guests up at 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway bridge at the corner of South Wallace Avenue and West 63rd Street, Inglewood, Chicago. I'm sure you will find the experience very interesting indeed. I'm not finding it very interesting. Big old ball of sketch is all I'm feeling. Hey, Charlie. 
I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Yeah, I don't think he's here anymore. I think he was told to go find people to bring here, and then he and the little girl can leave. Because they were being held hostage. Wow. Doors with keyholes can be unlocked using keys. I never knew that. Uh, who rang the bell? Oh, jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Are we just going to ignore that? Someone rung the bell and then a key just appeared out of nowhere? Or, like, what? Alright. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. I don't know if we should really be splitting up, but whatever. Your guys' funeral here. I'm just here to watch. Speaking of watching. My gosh. This man's getting fried. I don't even know what I would do in that situation. Like, do I just not go into that room or. I... Things are gonna get crazy. Miss Kelly Schroeder, once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieve at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony. 7 p.m. Friday, November 17, 2017. Promise a spectacular evening with a themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all your hard work was worth it 
when you enjoy the unique hotel experience. Yep, I'm sure they're still alive somewhere. Oh, cigarettes! Yay! The last pack. Yes. How about that? <laughs> yes. Oh, of course, it wants exact change. Damn it! Thought that was a real person. Wait a second. Uh. Hello, wow. sir. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would it be, Mr. DeMath, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet we of smokes. We sell alcohol here, sir. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? So or not. I don't like the idea of going behind the bar and robbing. This animatronic's gonna whoop up on me. I already know. I don't like this. He's gonna like slap me or something. Why? Next round's on me. Promise. Yes. Come Daddy. Oi. Oi. I'm not smacking it. <laughs> Life. Would be so much easier with I'm that not, in my jacket pocket. I'm not smacking it because I'll get smacked by the bartender. I'm not even. I'm not breaking nothing. What? No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Like something behind the bar. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Run. Run away. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. And Why? Some rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Who okay, I'm heck? coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Oh, boy. Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. 
Okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and then I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no-fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. She's not looking, take a peek. There's something back here. Interesting. A torture room, probably. Oh, got a thing. What was that even about? Uh, I don't even know what that would be. Something in the water and he s sits down. I don't I don't know. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go. Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Yep. Same. 
Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Oh, boy. That clock was so loud. All up in my ears. Talking about the guy in the intro. Just taking a seat, huh? How you gonna how you gonna take a picture if you're not even looking to the camera? Kapow. It's a blurry photo. that's going to do for us later but um balcony so well we find a good location to shoot okay balcony's over there so we will explore in here there see that key just need to find a way through i see the key Look at this wallpaper. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet. What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh... <laughs> Allegedly, killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. 